G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today I'm out with the Helicontex Bergen backpack again. Uh, my plan is to walk the 30 kilometers. I'll be doing about nine today, going up uh, to one of the shelters on the Bilbermann track. And then I'll be walking back into dwelling up, which is another 21 kilometers. And the pack weight is just under 11 kilos today. So what's that? that's around a 25 pound. Remember the head net today to stop the flies and the mozzies getting to my face. Again, they're quite friendly. And when I say they're quite friendly means there's a lot of them wanting to land on me. Using one of these, it makes uh, walking, hiking this time of the year when there's a lot of mozzies and flies and everything around, a lot more pleasurable because you're not having to do all this and get them off your face all the time. And you can just concentrate on your walk. The last time I was walking down this part, it was still dark, I think it was about five o'clock in the morning and the rain was just chucking it down. It was as heavy as I've seen it in a, a long time. Not the heaviest I've ever seen, but it was heavy. And I was wearing the Helicontex poncho. this beauty. Burnt out all the way up the inside, holes in it, cracks in it, and still near the top manages to get some live shoots coming out of it. How beautiful is that, hey? The wonders of mother nature. I'm just over four kilometers into the hike and as a lot of people probably know that using the pack like this normally the, a Bergen style it does pull back and you can feel it on your shoulders and your neck but so far as long as I walk straight or with my back straight and standing upright and my head up I can't feel any pressure off the pack on my shoulders or my neck the weight is being carried quite evenly around the waist strap, around my hips, or hip belt. So, up to now, it's a winner. Five more kilometers to go until I get to shelter. Okay, I've made it to shelter. That's nine kilometers. I've got the hammock up actually in the shelter because there's no one else here. And fingers crossed, I hope nobody else does turn up. But now my luck, look, they will. But there's still space for another eight people in here. Just having my lunch. Now the pack. I've said nine kilometers. I've got a boil. 
at the lower part of my back, uh, where my belt of my pants uh, goes. The pack didn't affect it. I had the belt done up around my waist, so that took most of the, uh, the weight. It did go over the ball, the, the pant line, I was saying to the kids saying the ball. The pack did go or sit over the pant line or the belt line, but there was no actual significant rubbing on that area. So I've got no hot spots, no sores on my lower back or any part of my back. Uh, these shoulder straps, I found that I had them too tight at first, but as soon as I slowly adjusted them, I found that sweet spot where these shoulder straps were just holding it, stopping it uh, fall backwards, but no actual pressure down on my shoulders. I, I couldn't hardly feel I had the pack on or, or the weight had gone down to the waist belt, excuse me, and spread evenly around the waist belt. So the 21 kilometers tomorrow into dwelling up, because uh, I'm on the Bibbulmun track in Western Australia and I'm at the Chadora shelter. Uh, I've been here this is my third time to this one now, walking this section of the track. So I'll be doing 21 kilometers back into Dwelling Up tomorrow. Uh, the pack will be a little bit lighter because of eating some of the food. And I don't think I've drank even uh, probably half a litre, if that, of the water to get here. And I'm using the fresh water tanks here. So the pack will be a good kilo lighter tomorrow. Uh, about half a kilo to a kilo lighter by the time I finish eating and doing what I have to do and yeah so I think the pack will be around the below the 10 kilos on the way back or the 21 kilometers have I got any concerns about uh, wearing it for another 21 kilometers after nine kilometers a day without waiting it none at all not at all. So, let me just show you the, how I've got this set up in here. If you're wondering how I've set up the hammock in one of the shelters. Let's have a bite of my food as well. Mm. There's the shelter layout. On the left and on the right, there's two bunks where you've got two people can sleep under and over on each side. So there's eight. And you've probably got space there for another four or five where I've got my hammock. But I've got this end of the hammock coming to this post, the uh, apex port post. As you see, I've got the under blanket in there. I've got the top blanket inside of my pillow. And the pull out points, all I've done is put them up to the, uh, the, the wooden bars here, stop people rolling out. But what I have done is I've used the carabiner and put it through the loop of the hammock and the loop of the under quilt to hold that one in place. Uh, the other end, the support strap, that goes up to one of the main beams. And same here, the pull-out point for the foot. I've attached a carabiner to roughly the same spot on the under quilt, which is good. And I've brought that again to the wooden bar. It stops people rolling out the bed. And that's where I'll be sleeping tonight. And that'll be my view. So in the morning, it should only take me five or 10 minutes to pack up and be on my way.
Good morning. Beautiful morning it is. I've been walking about half an hour now. Had to take the jacket off, got too warm. No need for the hat, no sun out at the moment. And the friendly flies seem to be staying away. I just found a cobweb. I woke up with no backache, no sore shoulder, no sore, sore shoulders and no aching neck. So nine kilometers yesterday, walking with the pack, it was a good one. So we've got uh, 20-ish, I'll say, kilometers today. Some people say it's 19.7, some say it's 20 point something else. So let's go with 20-ish kilometers today and see how the pack goes. So far, it's holding up really well, and it's a fairly comfortable pack. Just uh, made it to the drop-off point where I've dropped off yesterday. So this is now 18 kilometers using the Bergen pack since yesterday morning and still feeling good. No sore bit, no aching. I'm liking it. We're 13 kilometers in today and we've been going through a bit of uh, dense bush just coming out of it there's been parrot bush in there thorny bush climbing through the scrub and everything else let's get back onto this crappy hard road that's it and all I've been doing is ducking down and letting the pack take the brunt of it so in seven kilometers when we get into dwelling up i'll have a look over the pack see how well it has fared to it all so here we are the heligon tex bergen backpack how did it go over 30 kilometers well i'll give you an update this is a week later after using the pack i attempted to make four videos at the same time and the other three i finished them off this one I forgot to do the final uh, review at the end and let you know how it went. So here it is now. If you wonder what these are, uh, I'm looking at doing another seven days out on the Bilbermoon track and I'll be using this pack. It'll be carrying my food and everything. And that's going to be over 100, uh, just over 130 kilometres in total distance. And the temperatures are looking at around the mid 30 degrees centigrades so we're looking around the 35 normal that time of year and sometimes it does get up to the 42 43 so if it does start getting warm i'll be leaving early hours of the morning and hopefully i'll be at the next shelter which is on average i say a day's easy walk uh, before midday when it's the hottest so how did the pack go well the easiest way to put it is bloody well. Once I'd adjusted the shoulder straps so they weren't actually pulling down on my shoulders but just stopping the pack fall back and allowed the waist belt to take all the weight. Most of the time I forgot I was wearing it, it was so comfortable. Uh, perspiration on my back, as you can imagine, with one of these types of backs, uh, packs, yeah, I did have a wet back 
but the actual airflow points here did help reduce that a fair bit so I don't think with any pack here like this you're never going to have a day even in the winter without your back perspiring a bit and like I said 30 kilometers and most of the time I forgot I was wearing it so yeah I'm looking forward to the seven days bushwalk between Dwelling Rock and Collie on the Bibbulmun track, which is like I said, just over 130 kilometers. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, and it's the first time you've been to my channel or you haven't subscribed yet, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and all, so you can be notified of all videos going up in future. Click on the like button too. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.